My name is Hamza Azhar Salam and you're watching the Pakistan Daily. In 2020, Cond Nast featured Pakistan as the world's top tourism destination. Yet, Pakistan made only close to 1 billion dollars in tourism revenues last year. If we compare it to our regional antagonist and main competitor India, uh, it made close to 30 billion dollars. So why is India making 30 times more money than Pakistan in tourism? The answer to this question might lie in a concept called soft power. Soft power is the ability to attract rather than coerce. It has the power to shape the perceptions of others through appeal and attraction. The term was coined by Professor Joseph Nye, who teaches at the prestigious Harvard University. Successful countries like the United States, the United Kingdom, China, and Germany have used soft power in order to build their own influence in the global arena. However, Pakistan has been unable to develop and capitalize on its soft power. Pakistan has one of the finest armed forces in the world. It's the only Muslim nuclear country, which shows that Pakistan has a lot of hard power and it has the ability to coerce nations. However, does Pakistan have a significant ability to attract nations and people in the global village? After the war on terror, Pakistan received a lot of bad press in the media. Almost every day we had stories of bomb blasts and attacks. However, that has changed and Pakistan has transformed into a much more peaceful country. The world has also taken notice and Pakistan has become one of the favorite destination of many international travelers. Uh, many YouTubers and vloggers are coming to Pakistan and are showing the soft side of Pakistan. But let's analyze what we the Pakistani people and the government of Pakistan can do to increase and enhance Pakistan's state, soft power. Pakistan can use tourism to significantly enhance its soft power. We are blessed with one of the best mountain peaks uh, in the world and our people are one of the most hospitable in the world. Pakistan is also home to the Indus Valley civilization and could be a cultural destination for many uh, history savvy uh, tourists. Religious tourism can also be used by Pakistan to enhance its soft power since many holy sites uh, belonging to the Sikh faith are uh, located in Pakistan. Pakistan is also one of the most affordable countries in the world where prices of goods and services are priced significantly lower uh, than other countries in Asia. This means that tourists can get a lot of value out of the money uh, they spend in Pakistan. However, Pakistan still has not uh, capitalized on its natural competitive advantages. A major reason why Pakistan's tourism industry has not flourished uh, like uh, our competitors is because Pakistan cannot offer uh, its tourists uh, many of the opportunities to have fun and enjoy uh, like they get in other countries like Thailand or India. Alcohol is not readily available in Pakistan. It is illegal for Muslims to consume alcohol. However, when tourists come to visit a foreign country, uh, they like to have fun and they like to party, they like to go to clubs and they want to have a good time. However, Pakistan cannot offer uh, the good times to the tourists as per uh, their expectations. Pakistan has also not been historically uh, tolerant towards some other faiths. Uh, for example, Jews or Hindus or even Buddhists uh, will not be able to find uh, their worship places uh, in Pakistan. However, when Muslims and Pakistanis go to other countries like the UK, Uh, or the US, they find mosques and places of worship and they can freely uh, practice their religion uh, without any social taboo. If Pakistan wants to become a serious player in the global tourism market, uh, Pakistan will have to open itself up and uh, liberalize uh, its laws, especially in regards to tourists uh, and people of other faiths so that Pakistan becomes a more inclusive country where anybody from anywhere in the world can come here and have the best times uh, of their lives without uh, focusing too much on the serious stuff. Despite a far-right government in India, which has been called a fascist government by various quarters, uh, India has been able to leverage its soft power to attract a lot of tourists. India has used two main tools in order 
to build a soft image in the world. It has used Bollywood, which produces thousands of films uh, every year. And it has used yoga, uh, which is also extremely popular in Western countries. And India has not shied away from taking credit. Pakistan's entertainment industry lags far behind uh, Bollywood, uh, which is why Pakistani celebrities uh, are not uh, as well known as Indian celebrities in the globe. This means that Pakistan has fewer ambassadors who can represent it in the outside world. Tech companies like Facebook, Apple and Google have come to dominate uh, the globe. However, Pakistan has not entirely opened itself uh, to big tech companies and uh, Pakistani consumers are so behind uh, consumers of other countries that we don't even have PayPal and making uh, electronic and online payments uh, is a difficult task where most Pakistanis don't have access uh, to online banking. The Pakistani state should make it much easier for international companies to do business in Pakistan because when international companies will come to Pakistan, they'll bring tons and tons of investment which will not only generate employment in our country but it will also present a softer image of Pakistan. The state of Pakistan should realize the importance of uh, soft power and they should also use Pakistan's foreign missions to present a softer and more appealing image of Pakistan to the outside world. As citizens of this great country, the onus is on us to present a softer image of Pakistan and to show the world that the people of Pakistan are peace-loving, humble and possibly the most generous and hospitable people in the world. The state of Pakistan should capitalize on these attributes of its citizenry uh, so that it can benefit not only itself but also the people of Pakistan.